What is up guys, Jedi Nation here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 from the Legendary Edition. Okay, so we have um, more dossier things to do. We will do those, whoops, before anything else. Um, ooh. Oh, I did not mean to do that, you fucking idiot. Alright, I want that. Shock Trooper. Is that what I had before? Shit. I can't remember. Incendiary. And then. Balls, man. Ooh, tally. Nice. The just a car. Uh, that's... Oh, Samira. The assassin. Oh, that's what I thought it was when... Um, with the... Thief. I was stupid there. Shadow Broker. Miranda. Ah, here we go. But we're gonna do the assassin. So where do we need to go? Um, Elium. Okay, and I think we with Elium, I believe it's this one. Check out the numbers, mail. Hmm. Okay. Arrival. Check out private terminal. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Hmm. Okay, then why? Terrorism charges? What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. Okay. All right, then what about Dr. Amanda Kenson? What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in a Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Alrighty then, Reaper invasion. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. All right then, solo mission then. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. All right then, Batarian relations. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. If I have time. I'm on an important mission, Admiral. I'll add this to the list. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her 
Discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. That's bloody typical, that, isn't it? First, though, before we talk to Liara, we're going to talk to Miranda. Get a scoop on her first. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's wrong? What's going on? You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Why are you telling me this? So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. I can help um, investigate Miranda's sister. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. All right. Relocation? Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Okay, I can help. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Okay. Right, that's Miranda talked to. Now we need to talk to. If I says my, is it Jacob? I think next, and then we're done with these ones for now. Um, I don't know. Can we talk to? Let's talk to Garrus. Something different with tonight's mail. Seems like you put in more. Because, like I say, I want to do all of the. What it comes. Shepard, need me for something? Yeah, can we talk? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, maybe not. It might pop up on, on its own afterwards then, maybe. Okay, let's go. Um... Yes, I know he does. I was already in my way. Jacob! Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Okay. I decide what's personal. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission. Especially if it turns out to be nothing. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Get to the Fair. point. Whoops. Get to your point. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. But you want to check it out? You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Hmm. Okay. Possible Cerberus connection. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? Hmm. Relationship with father? You didn't get along with your father? 
He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Alright then, the ship in mission. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Hmm. Let's go take a look. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. And there we go. Okay, let's go get them. Thane. Is it Thane? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Thane Krios. Ilium. Oh, okay. So there's two we have to... What the hell? Oh, I am. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. I was concerned for a moment. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Okay, investigate. Nos Astra? What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Okay, I can't sign anything? What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. Okay, trader? You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Slavery? That's disgusting. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Yeah, fair enough for it then. Liara? You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Good. Um, attractions. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Cool. All right then. Looking for someone? I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. All right. Goodbye. 
Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Yeah, that's what I want to go for. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. Okay. I don't like, though, that with that on, though, it, you don't see the damage that his armor took. It's nice. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. Oh. Your Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Well, I'm listening. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Are you on Elium? I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Investigate Rachni encounter? How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. What did you get back? You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. Cool. And the pirates? What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Good. Is that his purpose? You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. That sounds too easy. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Rachni location? Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. That is true, especially with what the um, having to get the Krogan to do it. Meaning of message. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that. 
and she promises to help. Nice. Tell her to be good. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. It's good that she, um, she sent that message, though. What? Speak to Kasumi? Where? Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after eating pride. Oh, there. <clears throat> Towers, traffic, I'm sorry, everywhere you look. I thought about living here for a while, but everybody's so tight ass. It's all about money to these people. I do what I do for the love of it. These people do it because they don't know any better. Hmm. Ooh. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Oh, wrong one. I don't... It's really an honor to work do with Do people her. respect Liara? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. Okay, goodbye. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Oh. Yes. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Yeah, and doing that with a helm on, how is that possible? <laughs> You're making some serious threats. You're threatening to flay people alive now? Oh, that. That was just a customer unhappy with the information he received. He'll pay. They always do. Ever since I helped you stop Saren, people have wanted to be my friend, or not be my enemy. I've set up a respectable business as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. You're well informed. Come with me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What things? Do you need my help? What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Okay. Just tell me what's going on. Just tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Why do you need my help? Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Okay. I'll see what I can do. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. All right, um, Samira. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara, yes. 
She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. She's being tracked. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. All right, Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Alright, that's enough questions. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Um. Let's get the Shadow Broker. How are you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right, um, so we need to talk to her for Thane. Okay. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment Please return your system this one. to an authorized dealer for I think it's this way, anyway. There she is. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. Ah! I'm not can I? At all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Mm. Excuse me, I'm on uh, an important call. I thought I could talk to him that time, but obviously not. Alright. I think it's hair for Thane. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Who wants to know? Show some respect. Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Then talk fast. I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Hmm. Opposition? If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well-equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Cool. All right. Nasana? Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check. And her enemy's dead. Okay, where's the assassin? So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Um, investigate Thane. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. 
He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. Okay. Reason for assistance? You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dante's Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Okay, let's just fly you. We'll see. We might find it before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Tower. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. Okay, take us in. Alright. Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Good luck, Shepard. Okay. I didn't change. Oh no! I didn't change my weapon. I didn't change my heavy weapon. I don't like the um, collector one. I really hate it. Others may like it. I don't. I can't stand it. Damn it! Okay, so orange. I wasn't going to try and get in there. Come on. Yep. Once with purple. Oh, come on. Where is it? There. And blue. Oh, fuck me. No! Oh! Got it. Yep. Blue. Oh, bollocks. There, and... Oh! God damn it! Fuck! I hear that when they don't fucking show up. Unless I'm just fucking slow and bland. Alright, let's talk. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. You're lucky. Just be glad you're still breathing. What happened? We're just night workers. Nasana, 
sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Without warning? They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> Dogs. <laughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I can't breathe. Please help me. My chest is... Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. This is why I, I saved him, because then I can get more info. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. All right, mercs. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. All right, Nassana. Why would Nassana kill her own workers? Sir, we're expendable. I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Wait, I should go. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. That's the only time I'm going to rescue somebody is if I want the information like that. Renegade 2. Uh oh. Good night. Sweet. That looks Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Play an hour. Got it. Oh, nope. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, he's out of there. Of it. Mm -hmm. Good night. Damn it, I missed. Let's see if we've got any ammo around, shall we? No. No ammo there. That's fine by me. Hmm. Oh, hello. Bollocks. Go away. Ha, eat it. What the hell? Uh, 
Fuck off. It's me, Shepard. Kasumi! Out the way! Okay. Let's do it. There we go. All right. Well, I stuck up behind him for absolutely no reason then. Is there ammunition? Nope. Damn it. I need ammo. Badly. This sucks ass. Ooh. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. Um. But I. What? Hello. Goodbye. Oof. Oh, good God. Oh, hello. How did I miss? Go away. Nice one. Um. Firing eye impact shot. Yep. Boom. Oh, bring your right round. Oh, what the hell? Goodbye. Have a lot. Bollocks, I missed.
Out the way, Garrus. Go away. Good night. Goodbye. Fuck. Sweet dreams. Bollocks. Ooh. I'm it, I miss. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, hello. Bye. Hmm. Sweet. Hmm. Ooh, what's over here? Um. Really? Oh. Okay. That's fair. I wouldn't have had to fight. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Uh -huh. Good night. Balls, I miss. Good night. Miss. Yeah, good for you. Boink. That was easy. Well, as easy as it's going to be, at least, anyways. From a standpoint... Ooh, hello. Sweet. Okay, so it's the one with a white at the top. Like that. One with a blue. That one, and the... Blue one, like... Oh. See what I mean? Some of these are really easy, others are just really difficult. Which is really annoying on its own, in its own way. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. I was just thinking the same thing myself, Garrison. There's no lack of cover. Mezzanine, have a pleasant day. Moving to cover. You've got company. Oh. Block shield. Oh. Nice shooting. What's less to worry yeah, about? Uh huh. Now you see me. Oh!
Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Turn around, very slowly. I, I need answers. Tell me the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Well, listen carefully. You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my... How about goodbye? Harsh. But I guess he had it coming. Yep. Ooh, data pad. So is this hurts. Oh, cool. I think that's what the... Um, this is what the Salarian was looking for, I think. Oh, help! Down you go. Hmm. Nice shot. Going dark. Yep, all right. Goodbye. Hmm. Damn it. Goodbye. Too easy. I said that and I've died a few t and I've died a few times while playing this. I am I ain't died often. To be honest, I've died it's the odd time here and there. Yep, bring it out, bitch! Oh, God! Thanks for that, Garrus. You took that shot from me. What less to worry about? That was ace, that. That EM yeah, went in the way just at that time as she shot. Also, I can do this now as well. I can finally get that back. Because this is what I prefer. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Give me the sniper. Shot. 
Still got that. Um. Oh, hang on. There you go, Garrus. Going silent. Just take it to the head. Fucking stop moving! Jesus Christ, man. She kept dancing. Oh. Yep. We can use this. Yep. I don't care what you do. No, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on. Do 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 do. Whoop. See. There you go. punch through their armor. Yeah. Um. Go. You want to play it like that, do you? Okay, wait for it. Oh. Out of that. Okay, you. Come on. Yeah! Love it. Firing eye impact shot. Is that it? Nope. Three of us. Nice. Here we go. Hiya. Whoa! Hello! Good for you. Both my shield. Go! Come on. That flat. Sorry, can me. Me. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, plot. Give me my sniper again. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Is that what you think? Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You still think it's me? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Hmm. How much do you have? No, we can't. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You're pathetic. You've brought this on yourself. I wouldn't stop it even if I could. What do you mean? Of course you can stop it. Just don't... What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. You ignoring me? I just tore this place apart looking for you. The least you can do is look at me. Prayers for the wicked must never be forsaken. Don't bother. Asana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. You expected me? How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. I want you on my team. Bastard. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. So I've heard. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission. <laughs> Yes, a suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Are you sick? You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious. And it won't affect my work. Okay. Yeah, worried about humans? Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes. 
like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Watch yourself, then. You're here because I need a good gun. Crosby, and we've got a problem. I came here to do a job for you. I didn't have to. And I can still leave. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Um, keep an eye on him. Jacob, we need him, but that doesn't mean I trust him. Let me know if he turns into a problem. Aye, aye, Commander. Cool, yes. Anything else? Or is that it? And that's it. Well right, then, guys, we will... Um... Oh, hang on a minute. Did we level up? Yes, we did. Sweet. I can get both of them back. Nice one. Uh, journal. We did the assassin. Whoa. So we'll check zero. Oh, we need to talk to Jack next. All right. And that one. We'll do those after. Well, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Mass Effect 2 here. That took longer than what I was expecting, but we got through it all. We did it. We've now got Thane, but now I am in a slight dilemma. Because normally I have Garrus and Thane as my team. But I'm, I've gone accustomed to having Kasumi. So I don't know if I should... I'm going to keep Garrus. I always, always have Garrus on my team. But like I said, I've never, put, but I've never played number three. So I don't know who you get on that. So until then, we'll find out in the next one who I will pick. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, smash the like button. Drop me a comment and tell me what you thought. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when all of my latest Let's Plays go live. But as always, guys, I've been Jedi Nation, and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.